It's me! Good morning, turkeys! So anyhow, big check this out. Alright, today's Wednesday. This is, you can hear my bullets over there rattling. That's my 17 Super Magnum bullets. Y'all just gonna have to deal with that because I ain't, no matter how I move them, they ain't gonna quit rattling. Now I am in a 2017 Bighorn Ram 1500 half ton truck with a 5.7 liter Hemi in this bad boy. It has factory duals on the back of it, dual exhaust. Some of y'all thinking it got dual wheels on it, but it's dual exhaust. Uh, this is a uh, nice truck, man. Uh, very nice truck. Uh, the the Hemi engine, holy smokes, it is so responsive. It is crazy. It's got 20 inch tires on it. The truck is it's got cloth interior. The truck is not nowhere near as nice on the inside as mine is. This one's got a uh, plastic dash. Mine's uh, got some kind of leather or something on it, but uh, don't have near the bells and whistles that, that my new one does, that my diesel has. But the, in, the color of this interior, holy crap. Whoever at Dodge thought this was a good idea, a good color, look at that. It's like a uh, reddish brown or something. I mean, I, that's what, after I get up from the commode, that's what I see down in the commode. Man, I don't want to see this in a vehicle every time I go. I mean, the, the rest of it's got the, got the gray and all that stuff like that. But other than the interior, the truck's actually this white on the outside and it's got this brown. And whoever ordered this truck, well, I bet when it come in, I bet they thought, oh my God, you know, is that the, this color. One thing I don't like about this truck, I had seen it, but I had never driven one that had this, is this right here. That turn switch uh, drive selector right there, whatever it's called. I don't like that thing at all, man. I'd rather have it on the, on the column, the shift on the column right there. And just, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm old school, I don't know, but I don't like that knob right there. Uh, the four wheel drive on it is built in up under it right there and you just touch it now when you look at this truck from the outside i didn't think it was a four wheel drive when they gave it to me now this is a loaner truck i'm not having to pay for it to drive it or anything like that uh when i got my truck to the dealer uh monday night there when i was having those problems with it um this is the truck they brought they said let's get let us get you a truck right quick and they brought this to me and the last time i had my truck i didn't get a i did not get they wanted to give me a truck but i would i didn't take it i just drove my old gold truck but this time because i was at the dealer already and somebody would have had to come get me and all that good stuff like that so i just hopped in this one and took off now about my new truck i still i don't know there's a lot there's a lot of it's in the transmission there's several things there you know you got this thing where this communicates with that and that with this and this with that and everything's got to make this big cycle and that's where our machines are now same way exact same thing so used to dealing with stuff like that no biggie here's the thing with that truck when i was somebody there were several people said something things about being up under that truck when i was up underneath that truck that truck was not doing that by itself. There was actually uh, a guy sitting in the truck and he was shifting that truck from reverse to drive to make it make that noise. Because I wanted to show y'all on camera what it was doing like when I went from reverse to drive. So it wasn't doing that on its own or anything like that, okay? And had I turned that truck off, it would have immediately quit doing that. So when it, when the transmission gets crossed up in it, the TCM and all that stuff gets jacked up and crossed up in it, it will do that until I turn it off. That made the third time that it has done that. Uh, and so I didn't, I went to, my neighbor's house first right there because his dad is a service manager and he is a uh 
he has a shop at his house now right there. So I went to him first to where he could tell his dad what the truck was doing. And uh, he was the one that was actually in the truck. I was in the truck first making it do it. And then he got in the truck and made it do it where I could shoot the video for y'all to see. But had I turned that truck off and cranked it back up, it would not have done it no more. It would have shifted fine. It would have been, everything would have been, would have, it would have drove fine. Everything would have been fine. So I did not turn it off. I drove it all the way to the dealer. That's the reason why it was hung in that one gear like it was. I drove it all the way to the dealer like that and pulled it into there and left it running where they could see what it was doing and do that. Cause that's the one thing that's kind of aggravating you know, and these dealers or the shops, they get all these people come in, well, my vehicle's doing this or my vehicle's doing that. Well, sometimes it, it may not be exactly doing, you know, it may not be all that. You know what I mean? Man, I'm going to tell you, if I come to you with a problem and I tell you something is doing something, you can put that in your back pocket, both back pockets, and you can take it to the bank. And, uh... But man, when I rolled in there with it, with it doing that, uh, they they knew it had had problems there and everything. So I'm gonna talk to him uh, this morning and see what they found out because I'm sure they probably had to uh, get it up to Tupelo. But I'm sure when they cranked it up the next morning that everything was fine. The check engine light was off and all that. Cause see, if it was something, if it was something major mechanical let me see how long this video is man if it was something major mechanical in it it would continue doing it you know like if it was a you know a gear some whatever you know it wouldn't fix it and then a week later do it again you know so it's something it's it's probably a combination of, of things i've got there's a whole bunch of people uh, you know digging into it and looking into it and all that stuff like that and i do appreciate that video got some mega views on it too man but once i get up here i'm gonna jump out and i'll show you all the exterior of the truck uh there's the the, the back back here and everything so i'll be right back there's what the front end of it looks like i like the nose on mine better i don't like the nose on that one as much but that's got tow hooks and everything stick out the front so like my stuff enjoyed it subscribe to me man subscribe to me finna fire this beast up and get going see y'all oh while i'm thinking about it right quick i pulled the uh uh the window sticker out of out of the uh glove box over there on this truck to see what it what the sticker was on it this truck is uh forty seven thousand dollars is what this truck uh cost right here man kind of give you an idea on it and uh so this rascal ain't cheap, man. And which is bad because this thing costs more than my 2003 model Dodge Ton with my uh, my 3500 with the Cummins in it that I still got. And you know? also this truck costs more than that truck did back in uh, 2003. But uh, it's a shame these things done got this expensive. I'll walk around out here, man. I'll show you all this this thing real quick. Let me. I'll just throw my phone right there. You can see that's got things got 20 inch tires on it, man. He's got the Hemi sticker. See the dual exhaust. It sounds good too, man. Good sounding truck. It don't have the air ride airbags up under, it, but uh, it's a nice truck. I like it. I like it. Ed. I would have to have a few more things in it too. So, hope y'all enjoyed that. A 27, 2017 Ram Bighorn. Y'all be good. Keep the comments coming, man. Keep the comments coming. I like reading through the comments. Uh, and also, we'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good rest of the week. Later, taters.